What we have here today is a uh, Lexus RX 350, 7B of 2008. And uh, the water inlet on the top of the radiator. Uh, one of the uh, hose uh, connections snapped off. So we're going to replace that. We got a new one here. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. I removed the uh, battery uh, hole down here just to get a little more room in here. Taking, uh, make sure that your uh, engine is cold before you uh, do any servicing on that to avoid being uh, scalded. And uh, remove the radiator cap. And now there is a ring that uh, needs to be removed. So this is the new part here and it came with a new locking ring on here and uh, what's hard to do is when it's on the uh, on the engine like this uh, to try to get underneath here and get this locking ring off. So you have to take a screwdriver and then push this this ring up and then that comes off. And then this whole unit pulls off of there. Okay, we're started. Yeah, wiggle her back and forth, brother. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's a little snug fit on there. So in, uh, inside here there's a little collar and you want to make sure that's in there. And this clip goes on just one way and you want to uh, put it in that same way. We'll go ahead and slip it on here. Sometimes a little bit of WD-40 on here will uh, help it slide on. If you uh, snap in there, go ahead and push our ring on here. Attach our uh, two hoses. The bottom one has a clamp on it. Nice and secure. We'll put our uh, radiator cap on there and then we'll go ahead and uh, fill up our uh, overflow bottle uh, if it's uh, down a little bit. And we'll reconnect the uh, battery hole down.